everybody. This is a little, what I think is going to be called an inverted vertical axis wind turbine. It's definitely not set up like a normal vertical axis wind turbine. I still think it's fair to call it a vertical axis just because in relation to the flow of the wind, nothing has changed, even though normally this would be reflected. This is how it's set up. If we were working as a normal vertical axis wind turbine, like that but trying something a little different set it up like this and we'll talk about why I want to do that So that's 32 inches, very tiny wind turbine. This would be where the power takeoff is. You have a motor on each side, well not a motor, generator. The way this is gonna be set up, is there's actually gonna be a, this is gonna sit underneath a wing. Why I'm trying to do that is because I'm trying to be able to hide these things in plain sight. As you may know, probably not know, it is about an hour east of the San Francisco Bay, and it is super windy there in the summer afternoons. There's not a windmill in sight, and there never will be one if we don't come up with some different designs. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Different designs specifically for areas that traditionally would never have a chance to have a wind turbine just because of the you know, people you know like worried about birds and stuff like that and in the view all very valid concerns but there are other designs we can go with so that's what we're trying right now thank you